So I just had this question come in, and let me just go ahead and read it to you. How do you deal strategically and emotionally with the people who opt in, and as they start to receive your content, they unsubscribe? I understand these are not my people, though I can't help thinking, is there a way that will keep these people around to receive the value? So it's an interesting question, and, and anyone who starts publishing, once you start publishing, you will find that people unsubscribe from your stuff. If they're on your email list, they unsubscribe. If they're following you on social, they'll stop following you. And initially when you start out, it can be a little unsettling to have though have these have, have people leaving you. You know, you went through all this hard work to get people to opt in to subscribe, and now you send out an email and all of a sudden a bunch of them leave. They unsubscribe. And it can be a little bit painful until you understand that's just the nature of the game that there are people that are going to be interested in what you want and there are people that are not going to be interested and for the people that are not going to be interested if they if they don't want to receive your free stuff they're not going to end up buying from you so you just have to be okay with unsubscribes it's just a, the the nature of the game you know we are in the direct marketing world we come out of this that, that's what we're doing is direct marketing and there's this long history of direct marketing that goes back a hundred years in the offline world. And so in that direct marketing world, a conversion of between one and two percent is all that you really expected, all that you hoped for. Now sometimes with uh, with my with well, with product launch formula, with my process, you can raise that up depending on the list, depending on the traffic, depending on the source, Depending on the offer, you can get um, you could go up to three or three and a half percent conversion. But the reality is that the great majority of people are not going to buy from you. The great majority of people are not going to be interested in what you want, and you just have to be okay with that. So I'm not saying don't pay attention to your unsubscribes. If you send out a message and all of a sudden it has a huge number of unsubscribes, you might want to take a look and see was there something that you did in that copy in the head or in the subject line that wasn't congruent with what you what, what people opted in for isn't congruent with the voice that you normally publish in um, is just re it's just not the type of thing that you, you're used to sending to your people and if that's the case you want, might want to modify but the thing is is if you're going to be in business you have to become okay with the idea that not everyone's going to buy from you and you have to get the get, get okay with the idea that people will unsubscribe. It's just a fact of life. And you know the reality is is that you can't appeal to everyone. You are not in the market of appealing to everyone. There are some businesses, maybe a, a Walmart tries to appeal to everyone, but even they don't. They they just appeal to the bargain shoppers. It's just there's a lot of them. So you know, maybe a Facebook tries to appeal to everyone, but your business and my business, we're in a niche business. We're generally in the kind of business that is largely personality based. And even if someone is right for your content, is right for your offer, if they don't resonate with you personally, then they're probably going to unsubscribe or they're at least not going to buy from you. And that's okay because you only need a small number of people. You know, there was this book, uh, I never read the book, but the title says it all. It's 1,000 True Fans. And the whole premise was, if you have 1,000 true fans, people that really love your stuff and that buy your stuff and come back and keep on buying your stuff, that that is enough to build a very, very significant business. It's just, a, you just have to find 1,000 people in the entire world. So it's okay that people unsubscribe. It is very, in fact, at, at some point, you want to get to the point where you start to polarize, where you attract the people that you, attract, that, that you want and you repel the people that you don't want. And by repelling the people that you don't want, it will help you target the people that you do want more closely. I have a business where I'm blessed to uh, be working with people. I've, I have clients that have been with me 10, 12 years now. And it's amazing when you get the right clients. But to get the right clients, you have to go through a lot of the people that aren't the right clients. And they're going to unsubscribe and they're not going to buy. And you just have to be okay with that if you want to succeed in this business. So wherever you're watching this, scroll down, leave a comment for me, and let's go get them this week.